hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial i'll show you how to draft a basic uh, dress uh, pattern so with this uh, pattern you can use it to you know modify and make any type of uh, outfit that you want to okay so you're gonna get your pattern paper fold it into two then at the tip of the paper you draw a guideline now from that guideline you measure the length of the dress so the length i'm working with is at uh, 30 inches with your tape at the tip of the guideline mark the chest line the waist line the hip line and you also mark the bust up point okay so after you've marked all that points, you go ahead and use your ruler and extend the lines. Okay, now go ahead and level your shoulder, the chest line, bust point, under bust waistline, hip and the hemline. Okay, so once you've done that, on the shoulder line, measure your shoulder divided by two. Mine is eight inches and I marked it there. And I am also marked the same eight inches on the chest line so that I can have an even um, line. So now I connect them back together. So now on the center front, mark three inches. Then from the shoulder line, come down by one inch so we can create uh, the shoulder slope. Now you use your ruler and connect the three inches to the one inch uh, for the shoulder slope. From there, from that one inch, you get the mid, uh, your, the mid armhole by folding your tape into two okay so now we're going to create the armhole curve now for the front armhole is that you're going to go in by um, half an inch because it's deeper than the back armhole once you've done that you go ahead and divide your bust measurement by four and whatever you got you place it right there okay so for me uh, mine is 38 divided by four and i have uh, nine and a half inches that's what i placed on the chest line so now i'm going to use uh, my french curve and connect um and connect the lines to create my armhole okay so this one is the front armhole and now you just uh, place your French curve again like so to create the back armhole. Again, remember for the front armhole, you're going to go in on the midpoint by half an inch. And then the, the back armhole, you just uh, connect the um connect the lines as is. Okay. So once you've done that on the, on the waistline, divide your waist by four and place that measurement. Again, mine is that 34 divided by four, I have eight and a half. Then my hip is 44 divided by four, that's 11 and I placed it on the hip line. And then you're going to place uh, the same on the hem line. However, you're going to minus uh, one inch from your hip and place it on the hem line, okay? And then after that, you connect all the lines. So for the hip area, you use uh, your uh, hip curve and connect it from the waist to the hip. And then you use a straight ruler to connect the rest. And be sure to blend all the sharp edges, okay? All right, so now the next thing is to create the front dot. 
And now we're using the nipple to nipple measurement. Mine is uh, um, four inches. That's it's eight inches divided by two, and that's four inches. So you're going to place it on the bust line, on the bust point rather, and also on the waist uh, line. Okay. So once you have done that, you just extend down the lines down to the hip line. So now for the front dots, it starts one inch below the bust point. You mark it there. And then from the hip line, you go up by two inches. So that's where the, way, uh, the dot is going to end. So now on the waistline, you take out half an inch on both sides. And then you're going to connect all your points together like so. Okay, so that's what you have for the waist dot. On the neckline, from the shoulder, you measure uh, the weight of your desired uh, neck width. For me, I, I use the uh, four and a half inches. For the back, I use the uh, one and a half inches. And then for the front, I use the um, four and a half inches again. So I just go ahead and connect using my French curve. Okay, so this is, uh, we're creating a, um, a pattern. So I'm, I'm creating both the back and the front at the same time. Okay, so once you've done that, you go ahead and add one inch uh, or one, one one and a half inches as your seam allowances, just uh, like I'm showing you right here. Okay, so once you've done that, you go ahead and connect all the lines together. All right, so you just label that as a seam allowance, and uh, basically the dress pattern is ready. As you can see, it's uh, just as easy as ABC to draft. So once you draft that, you're ready to cut it out. So we're going to start cutting, but I am going to cut out the front, uh, the back piece first. All right, so always cut out the back piece first when you draft. Um, a, uh, your dress or even your basic uh, bodice okay so <clears throat> i'm going to cut this out so if you notice i did not add a zipper allowance however when you're ready to cut it out on, on your fabric uh, depending on what style you're making remember to add one inch uh, for zipper allowance or so one and a half inches uh, for your zipper allowance all right okay so you just follow the armhole curve for the back and then i'm going to cut out the um the back and i'm just going to split this open to indicate for the back and the front All right, so now once you cut out the back, you go ahead and uh, cut out the neckline for the front and then the armhole for the front as well. Okay, so this is what you have. Once you cut it out, you have um, you have your basic dress for the back and the front. Okay, so remember what I mentioned before that I did not add a zipper allowance for this uh, 
the back of bodies. However, when you are ready to cut on your fabric, you remember to put that. Okay, but you can you can decide to have two different pattern paper so you won't confuse you won't confuse the I'm sorry that I didn't have enough pattern paper and uh, um, hence I used uh, one pattern paper to make both front and back. All right, so I'm just transferring the chest line, the waistline, the bust point, the hip line on the back so that I can um, add the uh, back dot. Okay, so just like for the front on the bust point, we're going to add the nipple to nipple measurement, which is the uh, four inches. So I'm going to place it right there. And then on the waistline, okay, and also on the um, hip line. Now you, I'm going to use the ruler to connect all the lines together. Okay, now for the back dots, the um, the dots uh, starts uh, one inch uh, above the bust point, and you place that there. And then on the waistline, you uh, take out half an inch on both sides. Then again, from the hip line, go up by two inches, and that's where the dot will end. And now I'm going to connect all the lines together like so. Okay, so that's the, uh, the back dot. Okay, and then the basic dress pattern is ready. It's so easy to draft. And um, stay tuned because I'll be using it to create different styles in the future. Okay, guys, uh, so I hope this has been helpful. And if it has, uh, please give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you soon on my next video. Bye-bye.